Good morning. Um, so we are just leaving the Quality Inn in Franklin and uh, feel very refreshed. We had, basically it's a Nero day. So uh, now we are just waiting. We have about an hour until our shuttle driver comes and picks us up and takes us back of the mountain. So, and the rain is gone and the weather is absolutely fabulous. Can't wait to go back into the woods. Easter Sunday, we are getting ready to get back on trail and absolutely charming uh, shuttle driver Solace is taking us back up the mountain. He picked us up in the rain yesterday. So we we're just hanging out here at the Three Eagle Outfitters waiting uh, to head up. All right, we're here at Rock Gap and uh, we're just about getting, and there's some trail magic. These wonderful people have dropped off and have eggs. some eggs that are colored for Easter. And so, oops. We are about to do our family Easter egg cracking contest. See who wins. Oh, won. I won this year. Woo! Not a bad way to spend Easter, huh? Nope. Just coming on to uh, Winding Stair Gap. Heard there's some trail magic there today for Easter. Uh, it's about 3.7 miles since we got dropped off at Rock Gap. So Chris is long ahead. My legs are still a little warming up from yesterday's like eight mile run in the rain. <laughs> well, I'd like to say happy Easter, everyone. Um, We've been hiking for about ooh, five miles now, and we just left um, Winding Stair Gap, which is a pretty busy road crossing, and there was some more trail magic there. And so um, I guess I shouldn't just assume everyone knows what trail magic is. It's when um, everyday people uh, just literally donate their free time and money and buy supplies, whether that's food, snacks, water, and they set up an area right by the trail and give this out for free to hikers. To just it's like, just like selfless devotion to others. And I had never experienced this before until I started to come up to the Appalachian Trail. Um, and I have literally met the most kind, generous people in all my life along the Appalachian Trail uh, who have been doing trail magic. So that's what trail magic is. And so there was this man who was there actually uh, doing the trail magic today. And to come to talk to him and find out that uh, he actually helped build um, the Florida Trail, like literally construct it uh, down in the Southern region um, and uh, his name is Ned and he, I guess he was recognized for like 50 years of uh, serving the trails so that was really cool so I told him oh my gosh now I have to actually like hike the Florida Trail just because you were one of the people who actually like created it I mean like went out into the swamps and scoped out where the trail would go kind of thing so that was very cool so now of course Chris is ahead of me we're hiking up to, I think it's Wesserbald, but it's late in the day. I don't know how far we'll get. He's talking about possibly night hiking tonight a little bit. So um, whatever, we'll go until we feel like stopping, I guess. Today we don't have a plan. We're just taking a walk in the woods. <laughs> well, we're taking the two mile ascent up to Wyabald, which is a huge mountain with a fire tower on top. 
but by the time we get up there, it's probably going to be sunset. But I'm going to try to do it anyways. So maybe setting up in the dark, hiking in the dark tonight. Who knows? But it's beautiful right now. I'm just uh, yeah, chucking along, I guess. Another view. We're on top of the tower now. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> 